Okay, the first thing that we're going to do to graph this inequality is we're going to actually graph the line y equals 3x plus 2. There are a couple of ways we can go about doing this. Let's just graph it by finding two points on the line. Okay, when x is 0, y is equal to 3 times 0, which is 0, plus 2, which is 2. When x is 1, y is equal to 3 times 1, which is 3, plus 2 gives us 5. Okay, so to graph the line y equals 3x plus 2, we're going to plot these two points. So the point 0, comma 2 and the point 1, comma 5. And now we just join these two points with a line. The next step that we do is we pick a point that's not on the line. Well, since the point 0, 2 is on the line, we know that the point 0, 1 is not on the line. We plug these two points into the inequality. So we, uh, we have y is less than or equal to 3x plus 2 y is 1, so we have 1 is less than or equal to 3x, x is 0, so 3 times 0 plus 2. And so that says that 1 is less than or equal to 3 times 0, which is 0, plus 2. So 1 is less than or equal to 2. If that is true, which it is, then we shade the portion of the xy plane that has the point 0 comma 1. So here's the point 0 comma 1. Again, since this inequality is true, the one you get after you plug the point into the original, since that inequality is true, we shade the region of the plane that has that given point. Okay, so we're going to shade this whole portion of the xy plane. And that right there is the graph of the given inequality. Okay, note that if this inequality were not true, we would have shaded the other portion of the plane. Okay, let's do another example. Okay, just like before, we're going to start by graphing the line y equals 2x minus 1. And again, we'll we'll graph this line by getting two points on the line. Okay, the first point we'll get by using x equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, we get y is equal to 2 times 0 minus 1. And that's negative 1. The next point let's get by using x equal to 1. Then y is equal to 2 times 1 minus 1. So 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1. Okay, so let's plot these two points. So we have 0, comma, negative 1, that point right there. 
and one comma one that point right there okay now this inequality is a little bit different from the last inequality let's take a look this inequality was a less than or equal to inequality when it's or equal to we graph the line using a solid line when there's no equal to namely it's a strict inequality we join the two points with a dotted line or a dashed line okay not a very straight line but you get the point okay just like before the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a point that's not on the line okay so we know that the point 0 negative 1 is on the line so let's use 0 negative uh, 3 once we've chosen a point not on the line we're gonna plug that point into the given inequality the given inequality is y is greater than 2x minus 1 so the y value we chose is negative 3 is greater than 2x so 2 times 0 minus 1 so that's negative 3 is greater than 2 times 0 is 0 minus 1 is negative 1 that is not true negative 3 is not greater than negative 1 since that's not true we have to shade the other portion of the plane okay if if this were true we would shade the region that contained the point we found but it's not true so we have to shade the other portion So that's the graph of the inequality, y is greater than 2x minus 1.